The trial is underway for a Bellingham woman accused of shaking a three-year-old child to death. Detectives say Hazel Homan suffered a brain injury consistent with shaken baby syndrome back in 2019. Today, the little girl's father took the stand at Whatcom County Superior Court to give his testimony. And Fox 13 News reporter Frankie Tampson was inside the courtroom today to hear his statements. Cammie Dixon is accused of shaking the life out of three-year-old Hazel Holman. She's now facing charges of homicide by abuse and second-degree murder. Very soon in this trial, we can expect the defendant to take the stand in what could be a very shocking testimony. But today, for the first time, we are hearing statements from Hazel's father, Brandon Holman. My daughter came out blue and purple and unconscious. And I know still to this day that it was a miracle that she was even here. So um, it was, you had to be there. It was insane. Um, I, I don't know how else to describe it. A somber Homan as he opens his testimony explaining how his daughter Hazel Homan was birthed by emergency C-section, what he claims was the start of some of her health issues. The three-year-old died of a brain injury consistent with shaken baby syndrome in November 2019. Homan's girlfriend, Cami Dixon, is charged with the child's murder. Today in court, Homan explains how his trouble with law enforcement led to Child Protective Services taking Hazel away from his care. Homan says it was Dixon who was consistently trying to help him regain custody of his daughter, which was ultimately granted. Detectives say Dixon had primary care of Hazel while the child's father went to work. Court documents say before the brain injury that took her life, Hazel suffered additional harm for at least a six month period. This includes bruises all over her body, neck and groin, and several broken bones revealed by x-rays from the medical examiner's office. It's been more than three and a half years and Hazel's loved ones are longing for a conclusion to this heartbreaking loss. Today we met with Hazel's grandfather, who says he has been living in agony since the death of his first granddaughter. I'm broken, and I'm broken in a way that isn't safe. It isn't okay. Like, if you can't find joy in your day-to-day -day life anymore, what's the point? Dixon's defense team contends the little girl's death wasn't the result of abuse, but a tragic accident alleging the child choked on food, resulting in brain damage and death. The prosecution claims the final fatal injuries can only be explained by abusive head trauma. Testimony will continue tomorrow here at Whatcom County Superior Court. This includes potential testimony from Dixon, giving her versions of events leading to Hazel's death. We will be here giving you all of the new details as this trial develops. Reporting in Bellingham, Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News.